question now. Lisa Graves, former chief counsel for nominations for the Democrats on the Senate Judiciary Committee and a former deputy assistant attorney general in the Department of Justice. And Joyce Vance is back with us. And Lisa, I was so struck by just how politicized and angry this event was tonight, both uh, by the president uh, and by Brett Kavanaugh. It really was extraordinary. And you had all of the members of the Supreme Court uh, sitting there in that room, along with uh, predominantly Republican operatives and Republican politicians. And um, it was really surprising to hear Brett Kavanaugh praise uh, Chuck Grassley for his fairness, uh, praise Don McGahn for his fairness, when everybody in the country who isn't a partisan knows that they participated in one of the biggest whitewashes in American history to basically truncate that FBI investigation of the charges against Brett Kavanaugh. And then to hear President Trump Trump claimed that Brett Kavanaugh was proven innocent. What happened was, in fact, the Republican Party was proven guilty of their willingness to ignore a track record of lies and compelling eyewitness testimony by Dr. Ford and put this man on the court despite evidence that he uh, engaged in sexual assault and sexual misconduct. I want to listen to one other thing that Brett Kavanaugh said. This was at the very beginning. Uh, and listen carefully to the second sentence here about what he says about the American judiciary. Let's listen to this. Mr. President, thank you for the great honor of appointing me to serve as a justice of the Supreme Court. I've seen firsthand your deep appreciation for the vital role of the American judiciary. I am grateful for your steadfast, unwavering support throughout this process. And I'm grateful to you and Mrs. Trump for the exceptional, overwhelming courtesy you have extended to my family and me. Mr. President, thank you for everything. Uh, Joyce Vance, he tells a lie in his second sentence of thanking Donald Trump, saying, I've seen firsthand your deep appreciation for the vital role of the American judiciary. It's hard to think of a worse lie that Brett Kavanaugh could have told at that time. This is the only president of the United States who has attacked a sitting federal judge during his presidential campaign because he didn't like the federal judge's ethnicity, and that federal judge was handling a case involving Donald Trump. Kavanaugh, on the one hand, points out that an independent federal judiciary is a crown jewel in our system of government and then makes this regrettable comment that it's really hard to understand. You know, the incident where now President Trump criticized Judge Curiel, who's of Mexican heritage, was such an important moment where everyone should have come to the judge's defense and condemned Trump's comments. And that was one of the earliest hints that we had that this had become a Republican Party that would stand by Trump no matter what. And now it turns out that the, no matter what is severe, heavy damage to that independent judiciary that newly sworn in Justice Kavanaugh on the one hand points out is so critical to our way of life, but at the same time seems willing uh, to, to permit it to be denigrated and to really mischaracterize the president who has been in no way a supporter of the rule of law or the judiciary. And Lisa, uh, Brett Kavanaugh there uh, very uh, strongly thanking the president for, quote, his steadfast and unwavering support throughout this process. Supreme Court justices never have to thank a president for that after confirmation because they never have confirmations that are this difficult. And even Clarence Thomas, after something comparable, did not say that to the president of the United States, did not make any hint uh, that it was a difficult process that he went through and the president needed to hang tough on him. But that, in that statement, Brett Kavanaugh owns every lie that Donald Trump told on his behalf during this confirmation process when he was out there talking to the press. 
That's exactly right. And it reminds me, Lawrence, of what you said uh, earlier in this process, which is that Brett Kavanaugh began his nomination with a lie in that similar praise for uh, Mr. Trump. And then he has in, in ended that nomination with this same set of lies. And it really boggles the mind why a, a justice would want to make this sort of pledge of loyalty and gratitude to a president uh, who has behaved in this way. Um, and also, I think um, what you saw in Brett Kavanaugh's remarks, as you pointed out, is uh, that Brett Kavanaugh really Really is a partisan through and through. He can mouth the words about an independent judiciary, but at his heart, he is grateful and indebted to the right wing partisan Republicans in that Senate and to this president at a time when this president is facing some of the most serious charges ever swirling around a president of these United States. And so we await uh, any case arriving at the Supreme Court that involves the political interests of Lindsey Graham or Donald Trump or any of the other people that uh, Brett Kavanaugh seemed to be pledging loyalty to tonight. Joyce Vance, Lisa Graves, thank you very much for joining us tonight.